are starting with this. Harris County taking the first steps now toward building what could be billions of dollars worth of underground tunnels to spare homes and businesses from flooding. Yeah, commissioners voted to move forward on negotiating a contract to study the idea over the next several months and spend between $200,000 to $400,000 in the process. Adam Bennett live along Buffalo Bayou in West Houston. So Adam, which parts of the county are they looking at? Well, Jason, they tell me they're going to study the entire county. So right now, where these tunnels would go, how far they would extend, where they would drain to, and how much this would all cost, those are all questions that this study hopes to answer. So people living near this bayou, especially Harvey victims, they just want something to be done. Right here in the street, we had nine feet of water. Several months after Harvey. A few neighbors are back, but many are still uh, displaced. There's still several months of repairs to go for many in this West Houston neighborhood. We are building about three feet higher than the former house, and that's not even the Harvey level. So Will Hickman is hoping government will fix the infrastructure to help prevent another Harvey level flood. That includes clearing bottlenecks from nearby Buffalo Bayou and increasing capacity or even building a new canal or tunnel. I think everything makes sense to look at. Let's do all of the above. I rise in favor of the uh, flood tunnel study. It's an idea Hickman and other residents weighed in on before today's vote at Harris County Commissioner's Court. It's not a new idea. It was proposed uh, to be under the Katy Freeway way back in, in when the Katy Freeway was first being built. The tunnels would drain water away from flood prone watersheds like Cypress Creek or the areas around Attucks and Barker Reservoirs send the water underground and divert it away to areas where it can safely drain. Our land is very flat here and one of my requirements for making sure this is going to work is these tunnels have to work without the need for pumps during a rain event. They have to work by gravity. Harris County's flood control director Russ Poppy says the tunnels could be 30 to 40 feet wide and 100 to 200 feet underground. If we look at potentially going on transportation corridors, we want to make sure we're below the, the piles that support the overpasses, for example. Other cities, like Austin, have built similar tunnels, but they've spanned short distances, costing between $50 million to $100 million per mile. We need to think outside the box, but it, it could come back that it's too costly and forget about it. And Harris County Judge Ed Emmett tells me that right now their focus is on a number of short-term flood control projects, projects that could potentially be paid for by a flood control bond election. By the way, he says that these tunnels will not be eligible to be paid for with those bond dollars if voters do, in fact, approve them. Jason and Ray, can send it back to you. All right, Adam, thank you so much. Okay, let's